channel or welcome back. Clairvoyant I am because I am clairvoyant. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm going to light some incense. This is sage. Okay. This is going out to um, my collective. Okay. So this is masculine and feminine energies that I'm picking up. Okay. So I went into my prayer closet this morning and the Lord gave me this verse okay it's Isaiah 57 14 and it shall be said build up build up prepare the way remove every obstruction from my people's way isn't that beautiful okay so this is uh, somebody that's getting ready to take lead they're getting ready to take leadership because I'm going to tell you why okay the Lord gave me a beautiful vision of a big, beautiful clock, okay? And underneath that clock was a marathon runner. Now, take it how it resonates. This can, this can go to male or female, okay? But um, the um, runner saw the finish line ahead, okay? But he ran into, or she, ran into obstacles, okay, along the way. There was... Um, obstructions and obstacles okay that they had the challenges that they had to face and along the way they stumbled upon some gravel or some rocks or something and fell flat on their face okay they got all kinds of wounds all over their body from all these falls and all these obstacles but um they just covered up their wounds okay they didn't really try to cleanse them out and so they could heal properly so the lord's telling me that somebody's going to have to remove their bandages and start taking care of their wounds okay you know start cleansing them so they don't get reinfected because yes i'm i'm using metaphor here but somebody needs to um face these challenges head on even if you've been wounded um, just remember that these wounds can be healed, okay? And somebody absolutely needs to hear all this message, okay? So, I'm going to clear a little bit more of this space out. Let this smoke, because this smoke is going crazy again, you guys, I guess. I don't know if it's where we're in Mercury Retrograde or what, but I need to get this message out. I'm telling you, the devil is fighting me. He's fighting me so hard which he fights me a lot so <laughs> um that's because i'm working for the lord so that's why but anyway so this runner this marathon runner sees the finish line ahead okay but and they know that they're going to finish this race they know they're the winner you guys they know uh, because they see that nobody's behind them and nobody's in front of them. They see it. They see the finish line right there. It's right there in front of them. They know they're going to win that big, beautiful gold cup. Okay? But um, what they're not aware of is they've had some bad karma in their life. And they, they need to face that stuff head on also. So... It's a challenge, but whoever this is going to, you will get there. You'll get there, okay? And the Lord wants me to pass this message along. Um, also, the Lord showed me a big black coffin. Now, <laughs> don't, don't freak out or anything, or don't leave my channel until I explain what this means. But this means that somebody is burying their dark emotions, okay? And it's just, it's becoming the death of them. You know, it's its bad energy vibes. It's bad emotions um, that they have hidden. Okay, that's ex that's all that means. Okay, so, so like the Bible verse says, build up, build up. So build up from that. Build your strength back up and let go of those negative emotions. Okay, learn how to release and let go. And build up, build up your strength. I'm telling you what, you guys, when I was in my meditation this morning, I was in there for two hours, okay? And the room just was like engulfed with like all this red energy. 
I could see it. I'm, I'm an energy reader, and I saw this beautiful red energy just in a glow all around the you know room. And I know what that means. It means strength, you know. So <laughs> it's nothing bad. It doesn't mean danger or anything, you guys. But oh my goodness, somebody is absolutely getting ready. Their life is getting ready to change. Because somebody, this message is going to somebody, and they're building up their strength, you know, um, to change their life. They're going to take full uh, control, and they, they've realized that they are the winner. They are the marathon winner. They're going to receive that beautiful golden cup, <laughs> okay? There ain't going to be no more bullshit. There ain't going to be no more karmic in their life, no more bad negative energy in their life. Um... You know, all that <laughs> buried uh, emotions, those bad energy emotions that they have stored up, they're finding a way, or they're going to find a, relay, oh, a way to, <laughs> to release them. I'm sorry, you guys, but um, the devil is trying to shut me up. He, he does this all the time, and the devil don't own the duct tape. I'm ripping the duct tape off and throwing it away, okay? Because somebody needs to hear this. So, anyway, um, so I also saw the Lord gave me a vision of a big, beautiful table. And there was so many people sitting around this table. There was a family, um, community leaders, um, friends, and everybody was playing cards, okay, around this table. So... I asked the Lord, I was like, what's this mean? You know, what is all this about the cards? And <laughs> Okay, so the winner, uh, the person that's getting ready to step up and make a change, a brilliant change, and find their strength in them, uh, you're holding all the hearts, all the deck of hearts in that card. You know, there's what, 13 um, cards that have hearts? Okay, so you have all the hearts, okay? And you even have the king and queen heart, of course, okay? So you are worried about breaking everybody's heart. Oh, that's what that meant. That's what that means, you know? I, I didn't catch it at first, but then the Lord revealed a little bit more to me. That's what I do, I'm a clairvoyant. And so he revealed a little bit more. And so, you, as a winner of this big, beautiful, brilliant cup that you're going to, you know, cross that finish line with, you also have everybody's heart, okay? But you're worried. You're worried of facing judgment and breaking uh, all these people's hearts, all these people that sit around you. You're worried about what are they going to um, view you like, or what? How are you? How are they going to judge you? You know. If you do take on these challenges and I'm here to tell you right now they're gonna judge you no matter what you do so you know <laughs> you can uh, sit there and let people control your own life for you or you can take charge of your own life and let them judge you anyway hello it doesn't matter people it doesn't matter but don't worry about people uh, or about <laughs> judgment or breaking people's hearts because you've got the king and queen heart right there okay you're holding those two cards as well and if they're real family uh, and if they're real friends and if they really want you in their community they're going to be happy for you no matter what these people are going to be happy they're going to judge you anyway you know you already played the joker card so you can throw that one out okay the Joker's a big B.I. anyway, so you can throw that card out and don't worry about that ego, okay? Get rid of that ego, because they're going <laughs> to they're gonna judge you anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But those, that king and queen um, cards, and I did have to look this one up on the internet, you guys. <laughs> when I came out of my prayer closet, I went to the internet and I looked up what it means to have the king and queen card. And... Um, it means adoration, and adoration is a deep love and respect. So, just know that these people are going to eventually have respect, even though you don't see it, or you may not think they're going to. 
they will absolutely have that deep love and that respect for you because you took action of over your own life okay because you took uh, control and you took back charge so they're going to judge you regardless it doesn't matter <laughs> right am i right um, i know i'm right but anyway um so don't be worried don't be stressed about this okay and let go of those emotions heal those wounds like i said and everything's gonna be fine, like the uh, Bible verse says, build up, build up, okay? And prepare, prepare the way, okay? Just prepare, and you got this, you know? But when you do win that big, beautiful golden cup, um, are you gonna stick it up on a shelf and polish it and make sure it stays bright and shiny and beautiful and you can look at it and say, hey, look what I did, I bossed up, you know? Hey, I'm standing in my own power now. Hey, look at me. You know, that's what you need to do. You need to build yourself up. No more bullshit. No. Okay, God don't make no junk. So, we're going to do away with the BS, okay? So, anyway, um, don't give it back to the karmic, okay? You can give it back to the karmic if you're with a karmic, but don't do that. Don't, don't give it back to the karmic. I ain't trying to tell y'all how to live your life, but... I'm just here to try to make your life a little bit brighter and a little bit clearer so you can have a better future. Because I want everybody to be so happy, you know? I love you guys so much. And if you enjoy my channel, please hit the like, keep, please hit the subscribe, please hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Please, please comment down below. Please share this video out to whoever may need it and I love you guys so much and I'm here for you and I'll be here tomorrow and y'all have a good night. Peace.